Robert Chagulanyi sent him born 12 February 1982, is known by his state name Bobby Wine, is a Ugandan politician, singer, and actor. He is a former member of parliament for Chadondo County East constituency in Wakiso District in Uganda's central region. He also leads the National Unity Platform Political Party. In June 2019, he announced his candidacy for the 2021 Ugandan presidential election. He participated in the 2021 election where he lost to the incumbent Yoweli Kaguta Museveni, a result which Chagulani accepted but a large section of his backers strongly disputed. On December 14th, 2021, he was placed under house arrest by the government of Uganda has continued to protest his arrest. Chagulanyi was born in Nkonzi Hospital where his mother worked as a midwife. He grew up in the Kamocha slum in the northern eastern part of Kampala, the capital city of Uganda. Chagulanyi attended Kitante Hill School where he attained his Uganda Certificate of Education in 1996 as well as Korolo Senior school, Secondary School where he attended his Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education in 1998. He uh, then attended Makere University in Kampala where he studied music, dance and drama, graduating with a diploma in 2003. In 2016, Chagulani returned to university to study Bachelor of Laws at the International University of East Africa. <music> Chagulanyi began his music career in the early 2000s and adopted and adapted the stage name Bobby Rob, a similar name to his Christian given one Robert taking inspiration from Bob Marley, who was also named Robert. He later adapted the stage name Bobby White. His first singles, Akagoma, Funtula, and Sunda, featuring Ziggy D, brought him success in the Ugandan music scene. His music has been characterized as Kidandali, reggae, dancehall, and Afro. For beat, often with a social conscious message. He was the leader of the group Firebase Crew until its disbandment, after which he started a new group known as Ghetto Republic of Uganda. He has released more than 70 songs over 15 years. The subject of this article is a musical entertainment genre that was developed by Bobby Wine in 2006. The music was created to entertain while also conveying educational messages, particularly to the underprivileged residents of Kampala's suburbs, including the ghetto. Some notable music projects produced in this genre include Ghetto, featuring Nubian Lee, Ubuyonjo, Obululu, Tebutwawula, Time Bomb, and others. The messages contained in these music projects were typically aimed at politicians, urging them to take greater care of the underprivileged as well as encouraging ordinary citizens to be more responsible in their communities. Topics covered in the music include hygiene, maternal health, child pregnancies, child marriages, domestic violence, HIV AIDS and more. Wine's music res resonated strongly with the public, earning him the nickname ghetto president and helping him establish a prominent position in Ugandan politics later in his career. Chagulanyi is also a film actor mainly starring in local Ugandan movies. In 2010, he was cast in Cleopatra Choheire's drama film Yogela. In 2015, he was cast in a lead role in the Tawesa supported film Situka with Helen Rukoma. He has also worked on a number of other films. He appears in the 2023 documentary Bobby Wine, the People's President, directed by Moses Boyur and Christopher 
sharp. It was shot over five years and follows Wine and his wife on the campaign trail leading to the 2021 presidential election. In April 2017, Chagulani announced his candidacy for parliament in a by-election for Chadondo County East constituency. His door-to-door -door walking campaign attracted attention both in Uganda and abroad. He won the contest by a wide margin, beating two seasoned candidates, Sitenda Sebalu of the ruling National Resistance Movement Party and Apollo Kantinti of the main opposition party Forum for Democratic Change. In 2018, Chagulani gained increased Raising fame, championing the victories in most of the by election by the candidates, the campaign he campaigned for, thus beating out NRM and FDC candidates. On 24th July 2019, Chagulani formally announced his bid to run for president in the 2021 general election. On 22nd July 2020, he announced that he had joined the National Inter Platform Party, becoming elected its president and presidential flag bearer in the upcoming February 2021 general election. Chagulani was formally nominated to run for the highest office of presidency on 3rd November 2020. Shortly after after his nomination, Chagulani was arrested by the Ugandan military. On 6th November 2020, he launched his campaign, the manifesto in Balara, Western Uganda, after state operatives cordoned off his NUP party offices, preventing him from launching the manifesto from there as planned. On 18th November 2020, Chagulani was arrested in Iluka district, Eastern Uganda, and detained at Narufenya police station in Jinja for three days. According to Daily Monitor newspaper, police accused Mr. Chagulani of having more than 200 supporters recommended by the EC to contain further spread of COVID-19. His arrest was met by widespread demonstration around the country, mostly in parts of Kampala, Masaka, Jinja, Mukono, Mbale, and Wakisu. Although the Uganda police alleged that only 54 people were killed, human rights activists put the figure into more than a hundred mad and several others injured. On 16th January, the Electoral Commission announced that Museven won re-election with 58.6% of the vote. Chagrin refused to accept the results, claiming that the election was the most fraudulent in the Uganda's history. Chagrin was placed on house arrest on 15th January shortly after casting his vote for the presidential election. The military surrounded his home and did not let anyone in or out for several days. Despite Chagrin claiming he has run out of food. The U.S. ambassador to Uganda, Natalie E. Brown, was not allowed to visit or leave food for him as the military broke the convoy. Chagulani was released on 26th January after the Ugandan High Court ordered security forces to end the house arrest. On 1st February, Chagulani challenged the 2021 elections in court, but later ordered his lawyers to withdraw the case, citing bias from from the judges and after photos were seen of the chief justice with President Museveni who was the correspondent party to the lawsuit.
Kyagulanyi has supported several practical projects to improve conditions for the poor. In 2012, he started a campaign to promote more regular cleaning in hospitals, sanitation, garbage management, and hand washing diseases. A YouTube video from September 2012 shows him joining Kampala Road Mayor Elias Surukwago in cleaning up Kamolcha, a slum neighborhood where Chagulanyi grew up. The same year, he also donated funds to build pit ratrins and construct a drainage tunnel in Kisenyi Zone 2, a Kampala slum at the new vision described as being characterized by fifth crowded shanty structures, poor sanitation, and lack of basic social facilities. Chagulanyi explained that he embarked on the project because there are my people and no matter where I go, this will always be home. Studying at Makere University, Chagulanyi met his wife Barbara Itungu, who at the time was on senior six student at Buela Nyanji Girls Senior Secondary School. Their wedding took place in August 2011 after 10 years of living together. They have four children, Chagulanyi and his family reside in Magele village, Wakiso district, where he ensures they go together to dig and get food. You never can. I do that because I want them to learn to live live an ordinary life, not as a celebrity's children. On 10th February 2015, Chagulanyi's father died after a lengthy battle with diabetes. The vigil and the barrier attracted hundreds of Westerners, including government officials and other celebrities. One month later, Chagulanyi released the song Paladiso, which carries the message of valuing your parents while they are still alive. Chagulanyi was featured in a 2022 documentary film entertained entitled Obi Wine, the People's President. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.